States. So maybe this is, do you think that we would see larger emphasis on those kinds of underrepresented groups, particularly, I think, working working class folks and poor folks in cities? I think we'd have to see a couple of different things. I don't think the national popular vote, which I do think is a good idea, I don't think that's going to be sort of the magic wand. I think we need to see universal registration. I mean, even still, mm -hmm. see, this is the thing about, actually, after Bush v. Gore, I wasn't upset that uh, Gore's votes that were counted were more in, of the national popular vote. I was upset about the votes that weren't counted, right? So I actually don't think, because again, there are 51 pe million people in this country who aren't registered to vote, who are eligible voters. I wow. actually don't think the popular vote tally is representative of the will of the people anyway, right? As long as we're still cabining the electorate unnecessarily. I actually don't. You're putting the system on trial. I'm putting the system on you're, trial. You're, so, all right, and that's yeah. interesting. So the, even without the Electoral College, yep. the, the voter registration system itself introduces yep. this undemocratic element. Akil, give us a little uh, historical grounding here about what, why do we have the Electoral College?